All right, Paulie. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees, not nominees. I will say the name. If you have any quarrel with them being in the Hall of Fame, Whoa. raise your hand or audibly okay. moan. Okay. Uh, the Early Influence Award, Kraftwerk, Kraftwerk is going in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Don't know much about them. German, very industrial okay. keyboards. Uh, Musical Excellence Award, LL Cool J. All right. I like LL. Um, now here in the performer categories, they're going in with the traditional vote. Uh, Carol King. Tapestry, one of the biggest selling albums of all time. Todd Rundgren. Uh, more of a great producer, I think, than he is the actual musician or singer. Although he did give us, I don't want to work. I just want to bang on these drum all day. Nice. Yeah. That's a Friday afternoon song on a rock and roll station. Every single one in the country. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Five like o'clock. You, like you would do Born to Run by Springsteen and then, I don't want to work. All right, Paul. The happy hour. And now his he's not Liv Tyler's dad, but he was married to Liv Tyler's mom and helped raise her. Does that sound and right? Patty, uh, is his name Patty? Something? Uh. Yeah, I have to go back to that. Yes, McLean. I sometimes get him confused with Peter Frampton. Todd Rundgren and Peter Frampton. That makes no sense. No, does it does it? not. Because okay. Frampton Comes Alive is one of the He's a albums. sure fire hall of famer, right? Yeah, great selling albums of all time. Okay, Paul. Here's one that I was surprised was not in already. Tina Turner. Well, she's in with Ike. Right. But she's not in solo, which uh, now they've they fixed that crime. So she's in twice. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Um, okay, here are the top three. Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Seen no kind of Foo Fighters. <laughs> Seen as <laughs> I mean, you know, it's T-ball here. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, Hall of Famers. No. Long career, a lot of hits, a lot of sales. Yeah. Isn't that uh, how you but, get in? But are there a lot of good songs? Uh, okay. Sounds like you're saying no. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? It's kind of like, you know, the, the, uh, the Nirvana shadow uh, casts so you know, long yeah. that how do you keep a member of Nirvana out of the Hall of Fame, even with their side band? Yeah. It's kind of like a Beatle or something. Yeah. I do love that C. O'Connor loves Dave Grohl, doesn't like Foo Fighters. That is fascinating. Yeah, I do love Dave Grohl. I He's do great. too. And he, the, the Foo I, Fighters have like th have one great song, three pretty good ones, and then 15 albums. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, <laughs> Jay-Z, that's, that's no problem there, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's in. No problems. Wow. The Go Go's. Yeah, pretty. Not a long, long run, but really powerful, successful, huge in the eighties. Yeah, I think they were precedent setting. You know how much I love Belinda Carlisle. I do too. Jane Whelan. Oof. Yep. Yeah. I like that their bass player, like the old bass player, got kicked out. I think, and then the new bass player didn't know how to play bass, but she learned bass like over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> We got the beat. Yeah, head over heels, not really the most complicated baseline, I guess. But. <laughs> not too soon. All righty. Final hour coming up. We'll talk some basketball with the former NBA player, Channing Fry. Should the Lakers be worried? We'll ask him our poll question as well.